What is going on guys? It's Real Touch GML here back with another game maker tutorial and this is another Minecraft series tutorial. I almost forgot what I was doing. Uh, so yeah, basically what we did in the last tutorial is we went ahead and added water to our terrain. If we go and let it compile here. So here we are. We've got some nice random terrain generating with some nice water in there. Um, and we've, we've made some water physics as well. All right, so I've got a lot of requests to start with the player, uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial. So if I went ahead and clicked on my sprite player here, I just went ahead and did this before I started the tutorial. It's just a sprite sheet of a player walking, I guess, with the top hat on. And I got this art from opengameart.org, all right, so check them out. And uh, yeah, so here we are. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and just right off the bat start. Oh, one thing before I start, I actually took VAR uh, out of the SH here. Now, there were some people that had problems in the last tutorial on uh, using VAR. And basically, if you if you can't use it if your version is out of date or like, you know, your 8.1 or something like that, and VAR just isn't working the way it's supposed to, then just take VAR out. I mean, you don't need that. VAR just makes it so that's a temporary variable. But if you just say sh, then everything should be good, uh, and you don't make it a, a var in front of it. So let's go ahead and create a group here. I'm gonna call it group dynamic, and let's create the player. So object player. Now this is gonna be a lot of you know stuff that you've done yourself before. So if I go in the create event here, and I type in image speed equals zero, image index equals one. That's the that's the standing sprite I want. Uh, that's this sprite sheet doesn't have too many good standing sprites, so I'm just gonna use this one here. All right, and and then I'm gonna create a variable, facing equals negative one, no, no one. So we're gonna say one equals right, negative one equals left. So in the draw event here, I'm gonna say draw self. And I believe if you're not using Game Maker Studio, you cannot use draw self. You need to, you're gonna need to say draw sprite, sprite player, X, Y, you know, all that stuff. All right, and then I'm gonna say, if facing equals one, then image X scale equals one, else image X scale equals negative one. All righty. So that should that's not tested, so I'm not I'm not too confident in that code, but <laughs> we'll we'll find out what happens. So now I'm gonna add the gravity. So if place free x comma y plus one, then gravity whoa gravity equals one, else gravity equals zero. And I found out also from the comment section that this object block does need to be solid in order to be checked for place free. So I'm gonna put the player up top there and just run the game and see what happens. So our player falls, there there we go. So let's do collision. So I'm gonna say collision with object block. Now basically what happened was in the last, I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't made a platformer in Game Maker for a while now. And basically with the code I used to use for collision in the last uh, editions of Game Maker, so 8.1, uh, I think HTML, but it started bugging out in HTML, and then move, uh, and then uh, in Studio, it, it just doesn't work at all. So the code I used for that doesn't work anymore. So I went ahead and I did some researching, and you know every programmer should do their researching. And basically, I found a better solution to collision. Now I'm going to put this in the description. Uh, in a pastebin uh, URL so you can take a look at this and this is the code I got for the collision now this handles four-sided collision everything's good so as far as explaining this exactly uh, I kinda get an idea what it's like but I did not write the script so I'm not taking credit for that but yeah so here we go there is the code I'm going to use for collision it works pretty well I tested it already so there we go in the step event, I'm just going to add the, the movement controls. So if keyboard check, whoa, 
I'm going to say ORD D X X plus equals 5 and facing equals 1. Copy that, paste it down. Now this is A minus equals 5 equals negative 1. And then paste it one more time for the jumping. So if keyboard check pressed VK space, then V speed minus equals 15, we'll say, all right? So that, it's very basic movement code, all that fun stuff. You should already know how to do that. Alrighty, so if I run the game here, just let it compile up. As you can see, our player drops in and we can jump and move all around. Um, yeah, the image X scale is a little weird. Whoa. What I can do to solve this is just center the sprite and then go from there. So if we run it now, yeah, there we go. So now the, now the sprite is flipping. And then if we make like a little ditch here, we drop them in there. As you can see, it's, you know, it's got all the collision needed. All right, so there we go. That, that's the collision for the game. That's the basic platformer movement type deal. If we make a staircase to get back up and we're up and jump over and we didn't get it. All right, anyways, so there we go. So now let's go ahead and let's go with the side scrolling because that was another thing that somebody wanted. So I'm just gonna make the room 1280, just double the room. And then in the views here, I'm gonna enable use of views, visible when room starts. So I'm going to follow the object of our player here and then H4 320, 320. And all that should be good. Uh, da, 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 no. All right, let's run it. And our player drops into scene and we have some nice movement here. We are walking on water. We haven't actually added the water uh, physics yet, but oh, we have added the water physics, just not the player interaction with the water. So you can walk on the water now, but there we go. So now we've got a nice side scrolling type uh, type platformer here and uh yeah that's basically it so go and like go and subscribe next tutorial tell me what you guys want to see but i'm really thinking on going for either the rendering system or starting with biome creation all right so you can have deserts uh snowy valleys or whatever the hell you want all right so leave a like go ahead and subscribe let's try for 60 likes this time i hope we can get there and i will see you guys next time peace